April marks Child Abuse Awareness Month, and local organizations are making it their mission to empower kids that have been abused. Natasha Legur tells us how the one organization is trying to make their services available to what they say is an underserved community. These bikers may look tough from the outside, but they are the sweetest on the inside. For some kids, these guys are their heroes. And making sure that we're there for them physically and uh, there for them emotionally. And that's just to get these kids moving on the right path and let them know that there's life after the abuse. The group is called Bikers Against Child Abuse, the PD chapter. Their mission is to create a safe environment for kids who are experiencing child abuse. Baca works with these children by welcoming them into the crew and being there for the kids anytime they feel scared. President of the Grand Strand and PD chapters, Ronan says, they've seen more kids needing their help. It's, it's terrible that we even have to have an organization like this, but if not us, then who? Uh, the, the rise of child abuse isn't going, you know, it's not going down, it's actually on the rise. So uh, in here in Horry County and Georgetown County, it continues to go up. Because of the increase, the team is looking to expand and help other communities in need. Several members who speak Spanish are providing their services to Hispanic children who are abused. Ronin says he hopes to help more kids in the Hispanic community. I think there might be a fear or trepidation in the Spanish community that's not allowing them to come forward. We understand you and we're here to help you. And, and maybe saying it in their own native tongue is, is definitely more empowering for them. The chapter is working on their next awareness event, the 100-mile ride in May. In Merle's Inlet, Natasha Lagur, WMBF News.